Students, staff and visitors to any of our campuses will be able to enjoy a completely smoke-free environment. The removing of smoking from various public places uh, has changed attitudes to smoking and uh, changed smoking rates and so the more that that can be done the better. That's why we're recognising this important step by Griffith University. We do know there is no safe level of exposure to tobacco smoke and that includes your secondhand tobacco smoke. I think we have a role in educating people and our students and we have a very important role to play in protecting our staff and the students who are non-smokers. Tobacco smoking is the leading cause of preventable cancer cases and many other chronic diseases such as heart and lung diseases. We don't want to take a punitive approach to anybody who is smoking. We want to support people um, to give up. Our smoking ban um, extends to the, all, each of our five campuses and to our boundaries. There are lots of places that one can't smoke anymore and over time that's been accepted and I think the same thing will happen on the university campus. I congratulate Griffith University on achieving uh, this milestone and on coinciding it with World No Tobacco Day. Thank you.